It's your girl Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair? If you're new here, consider tapping that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Hey! <laughs> I know it's been a minute since I've done an actual wig review, y'all. It's been like, I don't know, has it been like almost two months? If you've been watching, you see that I've been introducing some different content to my channel. I've been doing try on hauls, which I'm really enjoying. And it seems like y'all are too, so thank you for supporting that. As well as vlogs. I actually just put out a vlog yesterday, my second one, part two of my solo trip in Tampa. So please go support that, check it out. Even if you just watch like five minutes, it would mean so much to me. Now with the introduction of new content, it doesn't mean like the wig content is disappearing or anything like that. I still love a good wig. I've just been wanting to express some of my other interests as well. And I'm glad that you all have been receptive to that. And if you've been keeping up with me on Instagram, I have shared that you know this year has been a little bit up and down for me so I haven't been as consistent as I was prior to this year with posting like three times a week I'm definitely down to more like once a week you know what I mean and even less than that so I'm still working on that but I did tell myself that once September hit I would get back into my stride so to all of you please continue to bear with me I really appreciate your support during this time all right y'all let's get into these wigs okay y'all saw the title we are bringing four wigs from Altre's Converti cap collection this video is actually inspired by one of my wig bays Deanna Monet Deanna did a video just like this where she features some Converti cap wigs I will link that video in my description box definitely check her out because she looks so gorgeous in her wigs and when I saw her video I was like yo I have a slew of Converti cap wigs that I'm still sitting on. I normally feature them in my videos featuring like my 10 cheap headband wigs and I'll link that below if you want to check that out after this video. But now they've been just sitting in my closet collecting dust and when I saw Deanna's video, I felt re-inspired to bring them back out. So Deanna, shout out to you girl because you inspired me to do this video. Overall, I really love the Converti cap series because I think Altre is bringing half wigs into the 21st century. They're bringing a variety of styles, textures, and colors. Things that we haven't normally seen in the past when it comes to half wigs. I also like that they've revamped the cap structure so that it lays flatter on your head. They've included more combs on some of the units, which can be a pro or con depending on what type of wig wearer you are. But yes, overall, converted caps are where it's at. And of course, the price point is like, come on. Most of these wigs range anywhere from $15 to $17. You'll see links to all these in my description box. Most of them are Amazon affiliate links. We all know Amazon charges a little bit more for their wigs, but if you're just trying to pick up maybe one or two wigs and you don't want to deal with shipping, if you have Amazon Prime, go ahead and shop through my links. I appreciate it. If not, you can easily find these wigs through Google. So I want to start with this wig right here. This wig is curls trip and I have it in the number two color so when I first got the pack I was in love with the pattern it reminds me of my natural hair when it's blown out I braid it up and wait like three days and then take it out this is what my natural hair would look like but just shorter <laughs> and I like it I think it's a very very cute style. I also like that these converted cap wigs come with the drawstring. I think that's a really neat feature because they're trying to accommodate multiple head sizes. I know the small head girls, you know, sometimes they forget about y'all a little bit. So if you have a smaller head, these converted cap wigs are definitely for you because it will definitely adjust to your smaller head circumference. But overall, pros to this wig, texture, length, I think it falls like a good 14 or 16 inches on me, which I think is a great everyday length. However, the cons this wig was the shedding. I took this out the pack right before I put this on my head y'all and I don't know it was just getting shedding you probably saw it when I put it on in the intro what, what's that about Altre why is it shedding like that I haven't had a wig shed like that in a long time so a little concerning doesn't make me like the wig any less Probably because I only paid like $15 for it. But I still feel like it shouldn't be shedding like that. I don't know. What do y'all think? Let me know. But overall, 
I think this is a very cute look and I like it in a flipped over style. I tried to wear it like just kind of straight back, but I wasn't feeling it with this headband. If I use one of my wider headbands, I would like it in that way better. But yeah, y'all, curl strip, she's looking good. Let's move on to the next. Okay, so next we have Glitz and Glam. I have this in a number two color. And this is another textured wig, but as you can see, it's a looser texture. I'm gonna compare it to Curl Strip real quick. Y'all see the difference? You see how Curl Strip is definitely more of a kink type of texture, maybe a type four texture as a braid out, and you'll see that Glitz and Glam is giving type three tees. Y'all see the difference? I hope this helps you in terms of making a decision. And Glitz and Glam is definitely a little bit longer than Curl Strip. Now when putting on your wigs, half wig, frontal, lace front, whatever, I do suggest you wear a wig grip, especially if you want to avoid using the combs. A lot of people do not like using combs because it takes out their edges. It's happened to me as well in the past, but sometimes I get lazy about the wig grip. But I did find this one recently, and I like this one in particular because it's adjustable in the back. It's trying to accommodate multiple head sizes. So I got my wig grip on, I already got my headband on, and I'm gonna toss on Glitz and Glam. Same cap construction, y'all. I'm just adjusting it so that's a little bit tighter. I have a medium-sized head, so, and my circumference is like a 22.3 size circumference. Hold on. Okay, she's cute. This definitely is similar to Carl's Trip. It's just a looser texture and longer. And I think this is very cute. I actually like wearing it just like this. I don't feel the need to wear it as a flip over style. This is pretty. Okay, what y'all think? Am I getting shedding? I'm getting a little bit of shedding as I put my fingers through it, but definitely not the shedding that I was receiving from Carl's Trip. That was a little bit off the wall. Oh, she cute! <laughs> I'm feeling this one. Let me give y'all a little 360. I can't tell. Can y'all? Can y'all see my wig cap in the back? I'll I'll be able to tell in editing. But if you find that your wig is thin in the back, just make sure you wear a black wig cap. Oh yeah. I'm here for this one, y'all, especially with this dress. For those who've been watching my hauls recently, I've been bringing a few styles from Amazon, and this is one of my favorite dresses. I just want to show y'all real quick because it's back, honey. You see me? <laughs> I love it. This is in my Amazon vacation haul. So this dress with this hair makes me want to go somewhere, okay? I like this y'all so easy breezy beautiful and if you want to do a little half up half down situation because you know I'm about that wave I would do that flip over how's she looking flipped over Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wait a minute this is okay yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of different things here. This could work. Now, if you're one of those people that doesn't like wearing headbands with your half wigs, you can just leave a little bit of your hair out. They have a new cap construction now that lays flatter, which allows you to leave minimal leave out, which is better for you because you want this to be a, a, a protective style. And sometimes people have thinner edges, so yes, y'all. Oh my God, this, this is, this is giving me, this is giving me life right now. And it's super lightweight. Some places summer is ending, some places like Florida, summer is all year long. So I feel like no matter what the weather is, you'll be comfortable wearing this wig. But a person like me, I don't care what the weather is. If I like a wig, I'm gonna rock the wig. <laughs> I literally do not have any cons for this. Mm -mm. No cons whatsoever. I also really like the way it looks with these earrings. I recently got these earrings from Etsy. I'm normally a super big hoop kind of girl, but I've been opting for the, the medium size hoop lately, and I'm here for it. I'll link these down below. I really like the quality of these. I've only worn them like twice, so I don't know if they're gonna like turn quickly. They're supposed to not turn quickly, so let's just fingers crossed on that. Hey y'all, real quick, I wanted to show y'all that I switched out the 
headband here so this is actually something that i normally use when i am melting a lace on a frontal but i was like you know what i kind of want to use it as a headband right now <laughs> because it lays flatter and i just like the way the flatter headbands look with the bigger hair as you can see here it's stretchy and it comes with velcro so that's why it's really good for melting your lace but i also just wanted to give you the option to use it as a headband as well and for you to see how it looks and when you look in the back here this is what you got going on Ooh, this is something else like i could do with this i could use one of my other headbands to do like a pineapple situation <laughs> Oh gosh, this looks a mess now, but y'all get the drift. This is cute. I would I would definitely recommend you get this one. Also, hello, y'all. I just realized I didn't say what day it is today. Today is 20 hour Tuesday. <laughs> we are like halfway through the video. Just remembering. 20 hour Tuesday is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute, yet super affordable wigs. And sometimes clothes. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Well, look at what we have here. Y'all, look at the. This is looking like my hair. This is giving type four. I don't mean like a loose type four. I mean like kinky type four hair. Like this is how my hair looks when I wash it fresh off the shower, but a lot more shrunken. <laughs> and I don't normally have a lot of curls at the end unless I purposely made the curl. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous, y'all. It has the same cap construction with the three combs in the front and a comb in the back. Oh my goodness! I'm in love with this texture. All my 4C hotties, where are y'all at? Pull up on this Electra Fro right here. This is gonna be gorgeous. Okay, so normally with fro's, I would just wear them without a headband and like pull things in the front, but I'm gonna show you it with the headband first. And also, if you're gonna use this as a headband, be careful not to put it too tight because I definitely put it too tight just now. And my head started hurting a little bit. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> That's what my girl Zarya would say. Oh my goodness. Yo. Altray, are we for real? Right now. I'm barely even fluffing this out. And look at. It's so springy and coily. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Y'all, this hair is absolutely beautiful. Hold on. Of course, you're not going to comb through this hair. Like, 4C hair is not meant to be combed through, okay? I mean, I know we sometimes do it to detangle our hair, but... Oh, wow. I'm in love. <laughs> this is gorgeous. I would definitely wear big hoops with hair like this. Yo, look at, look at the spring action. Oh. This fro is stunning. Are you serious? I can get my hair texture for under $20. So some of these right here, I'm probably gonna cut because it's just, it's just not an even fro, nor did I expect it to be. But this is beautiful. This is so, this looks so good. I'm so impressed. Like I'm gonna cut some of this here because I don't, I don't need all that. Tell me this isn't my hair! Come on! This is like natural hair goals for real. Honestly, I would probably pick out some of these coils just because I just feel like it looks a little bit more natural without the coils. It looks like my hair. Because <laughs> my hair... Oh my God. Uh, Y'all, this looks the fuck good. I wouldn't wear a headband with this, but you definitely can if you're going for that look, like if you want it like more pushed back. But normally I wear my froze with some hair in the front like so. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm gonna play with this a little bit more and then I'll be right back. All right, y'all. I am back with Electra Fro and <laughs> Yo, 
go add this one to the cart. If you like natural type 4 hair, this right here is for you. I am just so... I'm just so floored by this unit, y'all. Like, this is looking like my hair. I don't think Outre has come out with a half wig that looks like this, ever. They came out with their clip-ins, right? I actually have the clip-ins in two colors. I reviewed them. I would say the clip-ins feel softer. And those clip-ins are supposed to be a human hair blend, so I expect them to feel softer than this hair. This hair is a little bit dry. It's not the driest I've ever felt, but it's definitely on the drier side. But the look... Y'all, this looks like human hair. And just to further drive the point home, look at this wig. I'm comparing this to Curls Curls Afro Kinky Human Hair Headband Wig, and the texture looks virtually the same. Crazy. $17? Are we for real? Normally with Kinky Curly Synthetic wigs, some of them look more wiry, some of them more like spiral curls. There's always an emphasis on definition. And I understand, if we're being honest, defined natural hair is a standard of beauty in the natural hair community. It is. I know y'all all see it, okay? I do think my type of hair is beautiful, but it's just not the hair that is the most praised, right? So seeing this on a half wig is really giving me life, but it doesn't look synthetic, you know what I mean? Like some of the um, kinky, curly, synthetic styles, although they are cute, you can tell that they are synthetic hair. But this right here, oh honey, I'm about to be fooling everybody with this wig. Outray, y'all did that. Y'all did that. I do wish it was a little softer, but the look is, it's giving straight out the scalp, honey. It's giving, I've been growing my hair for three years. This looks so damn good. And just to give you a comparison, what I mean, this wig, which I was about to put this one on, but honestly, I'm about to stop this video right here because I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just in love with this. But you see how a wig like this, this is also by Outray. This is, um, which one is this one? This one is Wavy Oasis. You see these curls here? They're loose to find curls, but to me, it looks like synthetic hair. And this is what I find with even the kinky coilier styles. Nothing wrong with that because we know it's synthetic, but it's just, to me, it's rare to find a synthetic wig that is on the type three, type four end of the spectrum that actually looks like human hair. Does that make sense? Comment down below if you feel where I'm coming from. Come on now, look like, ugh. And I think what helps it make it look a little bit more natural is me plucking out the curls that it came with. Nothing wrong, if you wanna keep the curls at the ends, that's cool, but I know I was looking for it to look a little bit more natural, in my opinion, so I just plucked them out. And I've been going like this. Like, even the way it bounces, it bounces back like human hair. <sighs> Yo, I'm so, I'm done for today. I'm not even gonna show y'all that other wig for real, for real, because I'm keeping this one on. I'm not taking this one off. The video's over. <laughs> no, but honestly, y'all, this is clearly my favorite of the three, but I do like the other two as well. Yeah, I'm... Oh my God, my tongue's tied. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you when you're wearing a wig that you love so much that you can't even talk? You can't even communicate with the people? <laughs> That's what I'm experiencing right now. Oh my goodness. Shout out to Outre for creating these wigs, man. I really appreciate y'all for looking out for the natural hair girls, for the type three, type four hair girls. It really, really makes my day. So yes, y'all, let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below. Are you here for a curls trip? Are you here for a glitz and glam? Or are you here for this one right here? Or maybe you're here for all three. Add them all to the cart. Remember the links are all in my description box. Feel free to shop through my affiliate links. It supports this channel. And the money that I receive through my affiliate links definitely helps me put out more and more content. Overall, I'm pleased with these units. And like I said before, the Outre Converti Cap series is a solid line. They have like over 30 styles now. So there's a little something for everybody. But I realize though they haven't come out with, I don't think they've come out with like a short, blunt cut straight bob as a half wig. I don't think they've done that. I think that would be cool to do because it would definitely be a good dupe for the um, headband wig by my first wig. I think I saw a trendy K rocking that wig first. 
super cute. For people who don't want to spend the money on him and hair, it'll be a nice do. Just giving my people an outro little tip. I'm loving this. I hope y'all are loving this too. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Join the family. We have a lot of fun over here, especially my people in the premiere party. I love y'all for being here and watching this with me on this lovely Tuesday or whenever you all are watching. Also, y'all, please consider supporting my other types of content on here, the vlogs and the try on hauls. I definitely am going to be doing more of them, so I would really appreciate it if you just give them a look, okay? Give it a chance. And my goal is to get back consistent at least twice a week, Gladys. Come on, Gladys, you can do it at least twice a week. I am back in the classroom teaching, which has been... It's been very interesting and to be honest unfortunately one of the teachers in my classroom caught covid now i'm home quarantining luckily i tested negative but it's just a really trying time right now i've been really um stressed out for the past two weeks in general with just trying to keep just trying to get my students to wear their masks is is just a lot so Keep me, my colleagues, my classroom in your prayers. And again, I'm gonna do my best to get back more consistent on here like I was before. And if you wanna see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank y'all so much for joining me for $20 Tuesday and I will see you in the next one. Bye.